Hello everybody, in this video I will finally give my all thoughts about the Apple Vision Pro. Without further ado, let's begin. Please do not misunderstand me as I state that the Apple Vision Pro does have great hardware and that I'm sure it feels and looks amazing to use. However, my problem with the Apple Vision Pro is that Apple is marketing as, as, as a consumer tech product with only consumer-grade applications at a professional-grade price point. $3,500. Specifically, the Apple Vision Pro is only being marketed and executed by Apple for consumer uses just taking notes and writing emails. I'm sure developers will be able to expand the capabilities of the headset, but they'll not be able to take the full advantage of the Apple Vision Pro's spatial computing power because Apple's developer tools for the Apple Vision Pro are exclusive to the Mac, which is not a spatial computer, hence making the Apple Vision Pro's third-party applications not optimized well enough to embrace the benefits of spatial computing, hence making the Apple Vision Pro useless. The Apple Vision Pro is also failing and falling into the same trap that the Apple Newton fell into. It's too expensive for casual users because most don't spend every $500 on any device and many don't even pay that much for their cars. But it's not shown doing many professional gray tasks such as video editing, graphic design, music production, and photo editing, which people do buy to spend that kind of money on tech products for looking at professional use cases. The one professional use scenario of the Apple Vision Pro that Apple did mention in a press release other than Kino, of course, which any any iPhone or iPad can run. Run that doesn't even make, make sense. Sense because you're not presenting it to different people in your own virtual world like that. The one professional use scenario that they did mention in a press release is medical students, students studying via hyper-realistic 3D models with complete hard acts, which any iPhone, iPad, and Mac can do. Granted, it may not be in three, but no one likes 3D anyway. Which segues into my next point against the Apple Vision Pro and why it will fail. Apple has mentioned using 3D with the Apple Vision Pro extensively, which they should have learned from 3D TVs that people love 3D. And that is a big, fat, stupid gimmick. Now I'm well aware at this point that I sound like a very choosy person when it comes to the Apple Vision Pro and that people could love it because Apple has packed impressive hardware into the Apple Vision Pro and that could be different from past VR and 3D experiences and feel like the next step in computing. However, there is not any footage, no more images of any Apple executives such as Tim Cook, Greg Jozevac, nor Craig Federini of them wearing the Apple Vision Pro. Tim Cook barely even actually discussed the Apple Vision Pro at WWDC 23. There are also barely any demos of the Apple Vision Pro, nor live footage at Dub Dub. However, many Apple executives have always been shown with the latest Apple products at the event, such as Tim Cook wearing the Apple Watch when he initially announced it, or Steve Jobs using an iPhone 2G Live when he initially unveiled it, despite its numerous bugs, or Craig Federini demonstrating Face ID when he unveiled it for the first time on the iPhone X, only for it not to work. Tim Cook also didn't seem enthusiastic about the Apple Vision Pro when he discussed it at WWDC, which is never a good sign, because usually Apple products fail whenever the executives at their DVDs are not excited for for them. For example, Steve Jobs isn't excited about the iTunes phone when he unveiled it, which flopped. Tim Cook is also usually excited when he announces new Apple products, and so is Steve Jobs. He also stated on his Good Morning America interview that the Apple Vision Pro can do everything an iPhone and Mac can do and beyond. However, the Apple Vision Pro cannot make phone calls, hence not being able to do everything an iPhone can do, and it cannot run Mac applications, hence not being able to do everything a Mac can do. In fact, the Apple Vision Pro only has nine included applications being Safari, Freeform, Photos, Maps, Podcast, Calendar, Shortcuts, News, and Reminders. Both the iPhone and Mac include all these applications, plus more. Some of my suspicions up, which means that Tim Cook lied in the interview about Apple Vision Pro. That's always fishy. I'm not a business expert, but that sounds fishy to me. Some all my suspicions up. If Apple executives don't seem sure about the Apple Vision Pro, then Apple is Apple sure about Apple Vision Pro? Pro does it actually suck. Apple is similarly delaying the launch of the Apple Vision Pro until er early 2024, which will miss the holiday season this year and give competitors a chance to dominate the market. To to similar to the delay of Air Power until they cancel it. Will the Apple Vision Pro ever release? I'm not sure. It might, but it might not. What are your thoughts on the Apple Vision Pro, however? Please comment them down below. As always, I'm the iTunes family. Thanks for watching this video, and peace out.